Hello everyone, this is Player 2 with Hidden Level and welcome back to another episode of the Rubin Chronicles Minecraft Story Mode. We are continuing on with our Chapter 3 or Episode 3, whatever you want to call it. We found our way into Soren's Lair or Underground Fortress or something. Maybe it's Fortress of Solitude. That's a better name for it. Okay, so I am going to be looking around with Rubin, my awesome little helper, and we are trying to find this mysterious Soren. So, unpause and let's get to looking another fountain this guy sure likes fountains guess the water system isn't just for the outside not that the outside was actually the outside oh a seating area sure Lots of little candles for mood lighting. Fit hundreds of people in here, but it doesn't look like it's being used for much of anything. Well, maybe he's just having special date nights just for himself. <laughs> okay. Yes, just candles. Another water fountain. Olivia. Music's louder, but I don't hear anyone talking in there. Maybe he's just the strong silent type. Let's see what's going on behind this door. Where are the others? Ruben! Oh, that's all I care about. <laughs> I call that one symphony in E. <laughs> a new composition to celebrate my newest discovery. That's him! This time, I observed Soren. I place a block on top of another block. <laughs> what the? Rudimentary, yes, but it's just a recording. Undeniable intelligence. <laughs> I hope I'm not imagining things. <laughs> After all that, <laughs> he's not even here? <laughs> I, 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 I better eat something. We just Father saw him. He's got to be right here somewhere. We came all this way and for what? We're no closer to Soren than before. We're so close I can taste it. <sighs> I don't think so, Jesse. Unless Soren recorded instructions for how to find the Formidabomb, this is the end of the road. Who's to say he didn't? Maybe there's something useful well, on this record. My next I can step figure out what he's whether talking they might be about. Able to be persuaded to build collaboratively. Hmm. I've worked up a simple set of building instructions to inspire them. Inspire? Question mark? Hide among them in order to observe them more closely. Huh. Hmm. Oh, hide among them. Hide among who? Uh, Jesse? Do you think Soren is talking about them? <laughs> the creepy purple guys! With the pretty purple eyes. Then again, everything else about this guy has been pointing to crazy. <laughs> even if you could, why would you want to? You think he's actually training Enderman to build stuff? I think he thinks he's training Enderman to build stuff. Let's look around, see what we could find out. Okay, well, you know what? Yes, I can click on the records. Ruben always has genius ideas. Let me talk to him first. You find anything useful? <laughs> Worth asking. All he did was open his eyes, but let me ask again. You doing all right? <laughs> yeah, you and me both, buddy. He seems scared. I'm not done talking to you. I don't know you. about you, but I don't want to spend any more time here than I have to. <laughs> oh, like this place doesn't give you the creeps. <laughs> Keep it real, Rubes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not done with this. <laughs> oh, apparently he is. Okay. Well, oh, I can look at a window. Oh. 
Ah, oh, there it is. <sighs> Olivia, check it out. An Enderman suit? Either Soren's got a very unique fashion sense, or wait a second. This must be the disguise Soren was talking about on the recording. In order to walk amongst the Endermen, you have to become an Enderman. Ah, oh, it smells like one, apparently. Woof. Ew. Uh, I don't want to go up just yet. Let's let's search through his chest. Found something. What you got? It's definitely some sort of crafting recipe. But why would someone as brilliant as Soren need a recipe for a shape that simple? Because they're not for Soren. They're for the Endermen. This must be what he's trying to teach them to build. Okay, so. If Soren is using those blueprints to teach the Endermen to build, and there's a disguise missing from the stand... He must be conducting his experiment right now. Of course! The missing disguise is the one he had to put on before going outside. She's such a genius. Which means if we want to get to Soren, oh, we have to go out there to do it. No, not put on the suits. That leftover Enderman suit would fit me. Guess it's time to play dress up. Can't we put this off a little bit longer? Ooh, an apple painting. I'm no art snob, but meh. <laughs> What was that? That was like the most unenthusiast, unenthusiastic reaction. Okay, I was here first and I wanted to take a look at everything in this room before I go out to those creepy, creepy things. Totemic constructions of peaceful Endermen. Hmm. Could Endermen be implored to work together? Or are they like sheep and pigs, wandering randomly and doing things based on whim rather than higher thought processes? I've already decided that only Endermen at peace build structures. When agitated, such as yesterday, they don't seem to have any interest <laughs> in building things, only hitting me with their fists. Oh, ouch. Repeatedly. Ouch. Meanwhile, peaceful Endermen will move blocks from place to place, on and on, seemingly ad infinitum, until they somehow achieve satisfaction and teleport away clearly this will require further detailed observation i am so so lonely oh poor guy calls of the ender hopefully all this comes in handy <laughs> it sounds like a moose or something. And finally, an Enderman love song. <laughs> Gosh, these records are hilarious. What's on this one? Enderman Observations Part 27? I have been watching the Endermen up close today, and I'm convinced that I may have caught them communicating. Or, at the very least, two of them stood near each other for an extended period. It was very exciting. Then they wandered away. But it seemed deliberate. Maybe. I followed one of them for the next three hours. Here's what happened. Wait, was that the end of the record? No, I want to know what happened. Maybe he'll say it on this one. The folly of pumpkins? What? Wearing a pumpkin may stop the Enderman from attacking me, but I remain convinced it is also altering their behavior, as if their preternatural knowledge of my presence keeps them from revealing their true natures. Therefore, I have now begun to fashion a camouflage suit that will allow me to mingle amongst these heretofore inscrutable creatures, and, like a fearless explorer burning his boats to the ground upon reaching the shores of a new land, 
My entire cache of pumpkins has now been baked into delicious pies. Okay, I think he was referencing that suit I found. And sounds like he had a bunch of pumpkin pie to celebrate because he no longer needed it. Olivia, talk to you. Is there any way I can put that off? I can pick this up. Those instructions called for clay blocks, just like this one. Okay. Well, grab this one. Take this one too. And maybe there's something up here. Just a window? It's a good thing they can't see me through this glass. There's one. That's three I've grabbed so far. How many did I need? It said just a little bit ago. I think it was six or possibly seven. Just going to shuffle, shuffle, shuffle really fast around this second story library of his. There's nothing else. Go back downstairs. Okay, I think it is time to talk to Olivia. Hey, Olivia. You go ahead and build with those Endermen outside. I'll just wait here. All right, I don't know why I was dreading that. I thought she was going to, I don't know, force me to put on the suit, but I decided to do that anyway, didn't I? Reuben, my little one, do you have anything to say to me before I get killed? <laughs> Alright, thanks for the vote of confidence. We'll admire it first. Creepy. I really don't want to do this. How do I look? I don't think you want my honest opinion. <laughs> oh, but she's hilarious. It just might do the trick. Reuben's pretty happy. I saw that smile. Well, I'm sure he has nothing else to say. Okay, so we have to get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. How do I even get out of here? I can see something. Oh, look at that. I knew I spotted something pink. Too. Okay, I have four. Let's get out of here. Hang on a second. Soren in disguise looks like any old Enderman, and so will you. How are you going to find him? Walk up to every Enderman out there and say, Hey, are you Soren? The whole point of the disguise is to avoid that kind of attention. We uh, just need to get his attention without riling up the Enderman. Because that's what the re record said. Try not said. to die, okay? I'd really hate to have to watch that from behind this protective glass. Thanks for the vote of confidence. It's all right. You two, stay safe. No, don't follow me, Ribbon. Okay, we've just got to get Soren's attention and avoid attracting theirs. <gasps> Run away, Ruben! Oh my gosh! <laughs> that thing is so tall. Maybe that was its way of saying hello? That was... That was kind of creepy. I think I'm going to stop here before I... <laughs> I'm just putting this off for so long. I do not really want to go out there and 
and take a block from an enderman. I don't want to, no, they might kill me. So I am going to be a kind of um, a scared little wimp and put that off until the next video. I'm going to stay safe right here by the exits and I will work up my nerve and go out into this whole field of endermen in the next video. Thank you for joining me, you guys. I will talk to you later. This is Player 2 Within Level. Bye!